Good morning, guys. What is happening? What is going on? What is good? Hope you have a great day, guys. It is currently 7.52 a.m. Morning, bright and early. My morning routine consists of waking up in the morning because that's the time I usually wake up in the morning. I go have a shower, put on my clothes, get one of my four dad caps, put it on, and that is my morning set ready to go, guys. But recently, I've just been like... I need to introduce something into my morning routine that's just gonna change it up a little bit and motivate me. So of course, I did what most people would do and I went on the internet, specifically YouTube, and I typed in morning routines just to see what other people do, you know? And goddamn, guys, we have stumbled upon a guy called Dre Drexler. If that is not the most super bad fucking name I've ever heard, and by that I mean the movie, then I don't know what is. Um, so yeah, we, his video, my epic morning routine, 2018 plus men's healthy lifestyle tips, 1.4 million views, 32 K likes, 8.4 dislikes. I have noticed he has disabled the comments and I will tell you why I watched 40 seconds of this and my, oh my, <laughs> I don't even want to spoil it guys. Let's freaking get into this. Um, you know, to do guys subscribe, comment, like. Uh, click the notification bell button as well guys that's a very important one I enjoy doing these videos you know not because I don't get many views on them but I just I enjoy seeing the cringe shit people put up it's like here's the thing guys alright this is the the many stages of a video being put out okay you have the pre-production so you think okay I'm going to film this I need to film it like this and that so you have the ability to not film after maybe potentially realizing that the video might be very fucking shit. And then you have the filming stages where you're like, mm, okay, this is turning out pretty cringe. But then you also have the editing stages. Now, this is where most people will say, you know what, this video isn't good. It's ah, not feeling it. But no, this guy went ahead with it. So in his mind, in his head... This video is perfect. <laughs> Let's get into this, man. I cannot wait to see the rest of it. I've only watched like a few seconds, like 30 seconds of it. All right, guys. This is my epic morning routine with Dre Drexler. <laughs> this last year, I decided to make some huge shifts in my life. I made the choice that mediocrity would no longer have a hold on me. What the fuck? Nine seconds in, and he goes, Mediocre, media, mediocrity will not have a hold on me. What does that even fucking mean? Mediocrity. Mediocrity. I don't know. Fuck. Maybe I, if I change up my epic morning routine, I would know what that meant. That's my bad. Okay. We have a beautiful cactus there as well. Jeez. Instead, my life would be consumed by hard work, self discipline, and passion. Oh god, the fucking cringe, yo, this guy, his alarm says ride and grind, rise and grind, fire emoji, 100 emoji, devil horns emoji, plus this guy's wake up 8 o'clock in the morning, dude, I wake up at like 6 in the morning, so clearly I'm a better rise and grinder than this guy is. 8 o'clock in the morning is not the time to wake up if you want to grind, dude. You got to wake up earlier than that. This guy's slacking already. Fucking fake ass poser. I love that sound. Every day I wake up in bed next to my beautiful wife is a I'm pretty sure I just saw a Tinder notification. And this guy's hair is way too done up for waking up in the morning. Wife is a blessing. Knowing that today is a brand new day and it's full of opportunity and wonder, it always stirs up my passion for impacting the world. <laughs> oh my god, already he's got the follow me on Instagram, Dre Drexler. Right there, man, 37 seconds in. And then you've got that beautiful shot of him with his pecs and his hair. Just, uh, I don't think anyone's hair ever looks like that when they wake up first thing in the morning. Unless this guy sleeps like a fucking someone in a coffin, like... I'm Dre Drexler. Dre Drexler. Alright, let's carry on. Some kind of new way. 
Every day I like to kick off my morning. Oh god, he's showing music. off his fucking pictures. Something that will get me in the right frame of mind for the rest of the day. I'll go straight into brushing my teeth, getting rid of that morning breath. Then, of course, oh, I'll hit god, the shower what was that me up, shot? using my steam like spray big. to fight back any morning congestion. Besides washing my face and going through the necessary steps of my skincare routine, I always find the shower as a quiet place where I can start my day right with meditation and prayer. Is he praying in the shower? <laughs> Is he actually praying in the shower? Who does that? Who prays in the freaking shower, man? You know, this is this this is starting to kind of sound like um, you know that scene in American Psycho where like it's the, it's it it's the beginning scene where he's just talking about his morning routine. This is what this is. He's freaking copied American fucking Psycho, man. That's what this guy has done. This is like a six minute intro of like American Psycho, just like the douchebag version, Dre Drexler version. American Dre Drexler. Dre Drexler Psycho. No, that doesn't make sense. American Drexler. Yeah, I like that. Also, that freaking tattoo there. Wow, cringe. I never go a day without moisturizing my face. So this I always is make like sure to use healthy products that are going to benefit my skin and help me out in the long run. Now, as most of you know, I'm part owner of the premium hair care brand called Shavu. And today, I'm actually testing out our nose hair product that we're currently working on, which will be launched a little later this year to go along with our other well-known products such as Ocean Clay, which, of Great. course, I use to style my hair with just about every day. To save myself time, I usually like to figure out what I'm going to wear the night before, especially on big days like today. To save myself time, I think about what I'm going to wear the night before. Because this guy spends like five hours doing his freaking hair, man. The amount of products he's using, oh my god, dude. Like, really? This does not take five minutes to do. Listen, when I'm in the shower, I shampoo my hair, I wash my face, wash my body, and then, you know, my private parts. That in itself takes about 20 minutes, dude. And obviously, I have a shit beforehand, you know? Um, so overall, that takes me about 45 minutes. This guy easily takes about three. So this guy's wasted three hours of grind, uh, rise and grind time on his fucking hair and spraying shit and, and praying in the shower. Yo, dude, pray when you're on the way to like the gym or some shit, man. It actually will save you fucking time. <laughs> praying in the shower, I love that. <laughs> I need to try that. Day, Because in a couple hours from now, I'll be launching a little something I've been working on called Individuals, which is a community brand that anyone can be a part of. Individuals is all about embracing the things that make you unique. Your oh, strengths, your sake. weaknesses, See, most people think that you have to be perfect to impact the world. I say let people be inspired by your imperfections. Now, I'm a big fan of staying healthy and keeping my body performing at the top of its game. So every morning, I'll have my daily dose of vitamins, and I'll make a couple of these health drinks for my wife and I that are full of antioxidants, fiber, and other healthy ingredients. We'll have this along with an awesome breakfast. He may as well honestly just go out into the fucking garden and eat the shit on the floor because that's probably exactly what he's paying, like literally 30 pounds for some shit for like that little container man you're you're dude dre my friend you are literally paying for dirt and grass but instead of getting it for free you're paying 30 fucking pounds for it because of the packaging i'm disappointed man i thought you were a real hustler awesome breakfast that my wife always makes for us I like to always start off my day by reading positive development books. Oh, I believe that having God. a high quality personality is even more important than having a high quality style. See, in school, we were never taught how to have vision or be an entrepreneur, or how to brand our name or how to even be good husbands or family men. So reading, learning, and stretching ourselves every day is mandatory. Now about two or three days a week, I like to go outside and just meditate. I follow Wim Hof's breathing method and I absolutely oh, love the way it makes God. me feel. There's no way this guy does this every morning. If I'm Impossible. in need of a boost, my wife and I like to. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. It says here, right? He goes to the the crepery 
at 9.45 a.m. Do not tell me that all of that took you an hour and 45 minutes to do. Guys, recap a little bit. I think that's okay. No. Recap a little bit. So he wakes up at 8 o'clock. And then he has his like 9 hour fucking bathroom session. And then after that he has... Uh, he basically eats dirt and grass, okay, but the expensive version. And then after that, he reads, uh, what, what, what was it? Like, um, in inspirational quotes from this big-ass fucking Lord of the Rings looking book. Then after that, he goes outside and meditates. You're telling me all that takes one hour and 45. Bro, you are talking shit. There's no way he does this in his house that he owns at the age of whatever the fuck his age is. He's, I, I'm pretty sure he's rented that house for like this video shoot. All right, let's carry on. Where's this guy going to go now? To the creperie. So he's going to go out to the creperie. He's had breakfast. We know that. So he's definitely not eating breakfast at the creperie. Coffee shop, especially this little place called the creperie. It's this really good coffee joint located in St. George, Utah. I love how he did not cut that bit out where he's like holding the door open for the lady. He's just like this. He's like this. The shot is very pointless to the video, but I'm going to keep it in because I want people to know how amazing of a person I am. And you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to go out. I'm going to take a homeless guy. I'm going to get him a motel. I'm going to go to Target, buy him a bunch of fucking clothes. I'm just going to put that in there as well. I mean, it has nothing to do with the video, but I just want to show people how fucking amazing I am. Because that is part of my morning routine. My epic morning routine, 2018 men's health lifestyle tips. <laughs> uh, he's a coffee now, this is also a great nice. spot where I like to do all of my work. Before launching individuals, I still need to upload and publish this YouTube video that I've been working really hard on for the last few days. You know, every time I post a video, I get so excited to be able to chat with you guys in the comment section. All the love and support that I get from- We can fucking tell by the fact that you've just disabled all the comments, you fucking noob. Oh my god, what is- The amount of times he does this with his hair is just outrageous. You would think with all the, uh, the hair products, the gels, and the, you know, the hair products that his company work on, and individuals and stuff, that it would hold his freaking hair. Why are you putting product in your hair if your hair just keeps falling down, bro? You all is truly amazing and I feel so grateful that I get to be able to create content for a I love how there's nobody, there's no one in that coffee shop, by the way. Thing. Now that my video's up, I'm gonna be taking the next hour just to finish up some final touches on some artworks just in time for the launch of Individuals. You know, it's crazy. I've always wanted to create something that all you guys could be a part of, and Individuals is just that. So if you wanna join for free, then click the link below and get a free gift from myself. Now before I continue my work today, I'm gonna take about a two hour break and hit up the gym to get a workout in. You know, working out is a huge priority in my life. It also gives me a chance to break away from my crazy world and put my focus elsewhere and just let my mind go, kind of like meditation in a way. Once again, American Psycho copy. Now that my work is finished, it's about <laughs> midday and I'm going to be heading home to get in a quick meal, shower off, and then I'll be heading to my home studio for a few hours before working on some more videos for YouTube. It's kind of funny, my brother and I grew up making music, and this is how I was actually introduced to the whole YouTube industry. Way before I produced videos, David and I used to make music and travel doing shows. Then one day we got in contact with a little YouTube channel called Slick Air TV that wanted to use our music for their videos. So now things have come full circle and we're getting ready to release our first album in over six years. It's been nothing but hard work and major dedication getting back into the groove again and creating our new sound over these past few years. But now we're ready so to cringy. impact the world in a whole new way. You know, when it comes down to it, being successful is all based on perspective and attitude. Being 25 and married, creating YouTube videos, being an owner of Shavu and individuals, and now music all in the works, my life gets pretty crazy. I'm constantly on my grind, non-stop. But everything I'm doing, I absolutely love it. I love it all. And I feel so blessed that God has entrusted me with so much. I mean, I can honestly say that I am truly grateful. 
You know, when you push yourself, and I mean truly push yourself, and when you stay grateful and full of faith no matter what circumstance that you're currently in, that's a beautiful thing. When you're constantly helping other people and constantly dreaming big dreams regardless of what small-minded people think, that oh to me God. is what true success is. Fuck me. <laughs> well, thank God you pray in the shower a lot, dude. Otherwise, could you imagine if you didn't pray in the shower, maybe none of this would have happened. This guy clearly, you know, like halfway through filming, he's like, this is fucking ridiculous. He, I love how he skipped from the gym straight to like the home studio. He was at the gym at 12 o'clock. And then he went to the studio at like 3.30 in the afternoon. So what did he... This guy doesn't rise and grind. Plus, how is this an epic morning routine? Like, the morning... His morning routine lasts... Eight, nine, ten, yeah. Fucking five hours for a, a epic morning routine. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> that is not an epic morning routine. That is actually complete opposite from epic. That is uh, not epic. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I don't know what to say about this. This is uh, A, an advert for a lot of things. <laughs> this is like a six minute advert for his own stuff other brands, the coffee shop, maybe even the gym, I don't know, his music. I mean, I respect the guy's fucking hustle, but this came out as the most pompous, the most self-absorbed video I have ever seen. Unless you are a guy who murders prostitutes and fucking kills people like Christian Bale in American Psycho, you cannot get away with sounding like a douchebag, bro. It just doesn't work. This guy comes off as fucking stupid. Like, he, you know, he doesn't even come off as, um... He doesn't even come off as, like, cocky. He just comes off as stupid. Like, I know this is not what this guy is like in real... Fuck, imagine if he actually is. Oh my god, bro. Jeez, that was... That was painful to watch. But, you know something, guys? That is what we are here for. Oh God, I don't think I'm, I'm gonna adopt this morning routine into my, I think I am very happy with like a 20 minute morning routine and then I start my fucking day. That I'm very happy with that, my friend. Uh, and I think I'll just stick to eating like an orange or something instead of all that shit, dude. I don't think I'm gonna be purchasing any of this shit. Plus, imagine all that product and then he goes to the gym and sweats it all out. Can you imagine the shit that goes on his face, man? Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I surely fucking did. 20 minutes of that nonsense, bro. Uh, anyways, guys, peace.